Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. I was all getting on. So today I'm going to be showing you what idea I've come up with for Idiot Bears Terrain Square Circle uh, competition thing. Um, he does it every year. This is the third time I've entered. So uh, I put all the links below to check out the video that he had, uh, kind of promoting it and showing the rules and everything. So that'll be in the description below. Make sure to check that out. But um, the kind of the special thing about it this year was it was meant to be a, squ a terrain square circle. So it didn't have to be perfectly circled as long as it had like the edges gone and everything. But he recommended getting one of these. Uh, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's one of those things you put cakes on. Kind of like a decorative piece on the bottom to make it look nice and everything. And I picked mine up in Tesco for I think 150, 1 euro 50, so you're getting for dirt cheap. And... I'm not sure what size uh, other people are going for because it's still early days. Uh, but this one is is 10 inches wide, 10 inches in height, and um, whatever the area you work that out for uh, circles is. But it's 10 inches anyway. And um, now the idea I had, I had two ideas, and I don't think the first one I was going with would have worked. It would have been like built a big built up cliff, and um, with like a like stuff going on, like guys fighting trying to climb up it, but. You know, I wouldn't. Have, I I didn't like it. It wouldn't have worked out well. And um, so the other idea was kind of like a bit of a a mountain edge, uh, or a small cliff with a bridge going across, and you know you can have your your guys or whatever and other little bits going on. And um, as you can see, I tried to it draw out ideas, and um, but it just wasn't working. Uh, like I wanted a bridge going across, and there there was the the kind of the other side of the bridge with the guys went across for it. So what I did was oh, I got lucky with this as well in one way because my dad was getting new floors in his house so all the old floor was getting torn out we were using it for fire so I was able to cut it up. So what the plan was I cut it up into the shape to match the base um, and I wanted to do multiple layers building it up so I did I think I did about five of these so far um, because I think I ran, I got like one big huge long piece that was just, um, I just got, I was only able to get like five pieces out of it. So that's, this is like the basic idea of what I'm going for. Maybe I can show you my phone maybe, my lovely pink phone. Um, no, I would like this a little bit higher. I'm going to get another piece of wood, I'm going to build it up more. Um, and then the idea is to have like a bridge going across like that, uh, out to the edge here. Um, and then just pretty much just add bits of terrain. I want to have like like a gate maybe or a big wall or a fence or something on top of that. Um, I'm wanting this to be water. So I'm looking up ideas to get like water effects or wave effects, that type of thing. Um, and that's pretty much just the basic of it, what I have for now. Uh, what I was thinking about putting on it was um, for the first terrain square, I did use the Garden of Moor. So I was thinking I could maybe put that there as well. I said that's like pieces for that that I could use. Um, but the other idea was I wanted to have like the bridge going across here, and I wanted to have like it was like a middle of a fight or an invasion or something like that. So I wanted a, what I wanted to I want first of all I wanted to do a thirty k one or a forty k one or maybe a thirty k one from the horse heresy. But I I would have had too much stuff to paint up and convert now. So I'm just gonna stick with the idea that I have for now. Um, on the bridge I have the big Gorgon model that I have almost finished all I have to do was like make a banner for the guy out I, I had a video a couple of months ago where I had this idea to make a banner put it in his hands like that so he was holding it and um, so I just got to make that and I'm going to put him there holding a big chaos banner I might change it to like just a big massive two-handed weapon I'm not sure yet. If I can get the banner made properly and it looks decent enough, I'll put that in. But I want him on the bridges if he's coming in. And then on this side, I wanted um, high elves as if they were the defenders. I want a couple of, um, uh, I think they're called great swords or something like that. Sword masters, that's what they're called. I want a couple of them. I want to have like a leader guy. And I have the eagle model. Um, so I'm gonna put the eagle guy coming in from the side here, like maybe put him going across the water, so look, make it look like he's flying across, and then eventually I'd like to add other little bits. Um, you know that's the basic idea for it now. Um, 
I would like this up a little bit higher just to give the bridge a little bit of depth and just like make it stand out a bit more. I think the cliff for this now with the bridge going across it is a little bit small so I would like it a little bit higher. Um, so I'm going to have to work on that. Um, I'm go I am going to have to strip and repaint the high elf guys I have. They're like, I painted them like a couple of years ago. I could do much better paint jobs. Um, but I'm not wanting to do like a lot of them. I want to do like more quality instead of quantity. Like I have the big Gorgon guy. He's painted pretty well. I want to give him a big custom banner. And then the defenders of the high elves. Um, I did originally I wanted to do like a Skaven force coming across it and I wanted to put like a couple of assassin guys under the bridge and everything but um the, the assassin guys are terrible looking the 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 night runners they're brutal they look like big uh, Skaven chimps the assassin model is nice but I don't have any um you know and they're kind of in a static pose as well they wouldn't really look well under the bridge but maybe you know i could sneak in a scale of a model in there anyway you never know those scale guys are going to pop out of anywhere but that's the plan for now it could change but i'm definitely set on putting the bridge and the gorgon guy now once i start pulling out stuff and looking at other models and um, i might change i would have liked to have a couple of beastmen guys to go with him but for now he's all i have like with the beastmen um you know, I want to see what terrain will fit around here. Um, as for building it up, I would maybe like it up to here. Um, and that's the smallest I want the top of the cliff to be. So I want to do a couple of pieces that are about the same size as that, just to give it a bit more height. Because I want to be able to add some terrain onto that and some models to go across as well, without it looking like too, too jam-packed up on top. Um, uh, maybe I could do a footbridge, like a, a rope one going across. That uh, that might look pretty cool. It could be hard, tricky to do, but uh, like the bridge I was going for is like a big thick kind of a uh, brick one. So I'm gonna have to work that. I'm gonna have to do that with a bit of wood as well and work it out. So uh, that's it for me for now. I'm gonna have to. What I'm gonna be doing next is building the height up. I'm gonna have to work on the bridge. The model part isn't really bothering me too much. It's just I want to get the bridge is kind of gonna annoy me. I want it to look nice going across it, um, like the fit into it. So I'm going to have to work on that to make sure it looks nice. So uh, yeah, so that's my plan for this year's one. Uh, and looking forward to seeing everyone else's. It really is a great competition. I love looking at it every year. So um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Make sure to leave your comments below in the comment section. Uh, some feedback will be absolutely brilliant for this. I'd love to hear uh, some feedback from you guys. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And I uh, look forward to seeing yours. So uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next video.